The following program is a public access production. The Village of Villa Park is required to provide time on this channel and make it available pursuant to franchise agreements for the community. The Village of Villa Park is not affiliated with the following program or the producers of public access programming and is not responsible for the content. The following program does not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Village of Villa Park, but solely the opinions of the participants. Pleasant good evening, uh, folks. This is another presentation of TV VP Style, done by the Villa Park Channel Cable Commission. And uh, this is the Tom and Sid Show. And uh, however, well, we do star our village president, Tom Cullerton, but Tom, right at this particular moment, is AWOL. Uh, he'll be in later running the meeting, I'm sure. But there are things, a lot of things are happening and have happened and are going to happen. And, oh, I think we'll start out with talking about next Thursday. Oh, by the way, this is being recorded and going live, if you're watching right at this particular minute, uh, on Monday evening, uh, uh, March 14th. And on Thursday, St. Patty's Day, there's a lot of good things going to be happening. Uh, two of them, I can give you that I, I am very well aware of, uh, at the Recreation Building on Wildwood, Lions Field, there's going to be Irish dancers starting about noon. Uh, there'll be a lunch of corned beef or turkey sandwiches. It's $5 a person, but you have to pre-register. And that's going to be fun. Uh, oh, of course, there's always uh, cards and uh, oh, Pinnacle and Bridge that are there at the uh, Senior Center. For those that, of us that uh, are, uh, uh, well, I say we're no longer teenagers. <clears throat> I use that with tongue in cheek. Uh, and at the uh, VFW, be open to the public starting about noon, there'll be uh, corned beef sandwiches and uh, all the good trimmings that go with it. Now, uh, Commander Geisman, Dennis, as we call him, Chef, uh, Chef Boyar Dennis, uh, can do things with meat that uh, I just don't understand, but it just makes it, like, melt in your mouth. And that will be, th both, both things will be Thursday, March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. I was going to wear the big hat, but uh, I thought it was kind of crushed a little bit. Be in honor of our uh, Irish uh, uh, friends and brethren. Oh, some of the things that are happening uh, at the library that's coming up on uh, Sunday, March 20th. There's going to be a, a lecture show, some type of show, on, uh, with a fellow by the name of uh, Bill Helmuth, who travels the world, and he's uh, going to talk about where Christianity began and his travels in uh, Israel. And uh, it'll be locations of sites that, uh, that were that are of interest to Christians and how they came. And on uh, Monday, March 21st, the next day at 7 o'clock, oh, by the way, Christianity will be going at 2 p.m. And uh, starting there. That's on Sunday. But on Monday, oh, Monday, uh, the title is Planning Your Family Vegetable Garden. For those of you that are like to have a, a garden and fresh vegetables during the summertime, or those that you would like to start uh, at the the, uh, the library, you can grow your own ve growing your own vegetables can provide you with a fresh, healthful food and a worthwhile 
family project. And it's a lot of fun. Sometimes you get the uh, kids might not want to pull the weeds out, but you can always point out to the fact that, boy, those red tomatoes, they're green right now, but when they get red, they're just so good. <clears throat> Uh, Judy Worley and Bill Carragher from uh, Pioneer Feed and Garden Store, and boy, it's, it's some, they, they know just about everything there is to know about gardens, uh, will uh, help you uh, learn more and how to read pa seed packages, you know. And I never thought about that, but that's something interesting where you can read and see exactly what they mean when you're, you're reading it. That's at the library um, where Christianity began is Sunday, March 20th at 2 o'clock, and planting your family vegetable garden is Monday, March 21st, at uh, 7 p.m. Oh, golly gee. Uh, seniors. Oh, boy. What did we miss? What, what did we do? Okay. Uh, at the uh, uh, York Township Hall, Senior Citizens Hall, on uh, Tuesday, tomorrow, that is, if you're uh, it's the uh, 15th, so if you're watching the 16th, you're out of luck. But it's a, a movie comedy, Going Berserk, and that was made in 2009. And then, of course, the following date, March 22nd, will be The Wedding Date, which is another comedy. And it, it promises to be just simply great. Uh, there is something else I wanted to show you or tell you about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, Thursday, April 7th, <clears throat> there's going to be a bus trip, a bus outing uh, to Pheasant Run Resort. It'll leave at 11 and return at 5. But the, the thing is, it's a tribute to Patsy Cline. Patsy Cline was that beautiful young singer that was taken away and met her demise way too early in life, who sang such, could, could make such songs like Crazy or uh, I Fall to Pieces. And just make you have goosebumps. I get goosebumps just thinking about it. But it's, it's going to be the show, a show of, uh, highlighting uh, her stories. And uh, it, it's going to be around, oh, let me read this to you, uh, uh, a friendship with a fan from Houston who she befriended at a Texas hockey talk. And they remained timely uh, uh, till her death. And it's... it's Oh, you know, the down-home country. Uh, Patsy Klein is just great. And, of course, of course, there's uh, all sorts of good things on that. On Wednesday, the 16th of this month, that's two days from Monday, which is today, uh, we'll be at the, there's a trip to going to the Four Winds Casino just over the border in Michigan, and that leaves at 9 o'clock. And uh, don't forget, there's uh, <clears throat> lunch do, uh, they call it the DuPage Senior Nutrition Program at York Center, and uh, it's a good chicken. You have to make a reservation in uh, before noon, 48 hours in advance if you're going to go. And it, but it, it's well worth it. And, but, oh man, that Patsy Klein. Huh? Uh, oh, another for those veteran people, the casino people. Uh, on Wednesday, April 13th. There's going to be a trip to the Horseshoe Casino, and that's just over the border in Indiana, in Hammond. And uh, <clears throat> that'll leave at 10 o'clock and be back about 5.30. And uh, that's 30 bucks a person. And for that, you get the transportation. You get a $5 coin uh, voucher. And uh, you get uh, to go to the buffet, all-you-can-eat buffet, and that's included in that 30 bucks. Uh, but, oh, and it's the big thing. You take along a picture ID that's recognized by the government, uh, driver's license or state ID card, so that when you win the big money, that you, that you have to prove you're you. Uh, there's an advance notice of, of uh, <clears throat> a veteran's home parade downtown that will be on June 17th. 18th and 19th, uh, it'll be the Welcome Home Project from downtown, and it's celebrating the 25th anniversary of the Welcome Home Vietnam Days Parade. I can't believe it's been 25 years ago, but it, uh, it's, it's that. Uh, uh, one of the boys uh, 
Uh, one of the VFW boys from Naperville, uh, Jack Schiffler, helped organize the parade uh, in uh, 86 and is he's working on the programs, uh, uh, working on this one. And uh, by the way, that's not to take away our, uh, uh, our own BFW Welcome Home celebration that will be, I believe it's uh, the Saturday, the 17th of September. <coughs> And once again, uh, last year, that was such a, an overpowering success. We had something like 400 veterans sign up, and we had probably 2,500 people go through. There was uh, 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 entertainment all day, all day long, started from noon and lasted into uh, almost the dark. Uh, uh, one of the groups was the uh, Pat Hyatt singers that were singing, uh, that were doing routines that were made famous by people like the Andrews sisters and uh, 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 people that were entertainers back in the 40s and into the 50s and 60s. And of course, being as that was my time, I just, uh, I just ate that all up. Now, that'll be the, uh, our, our welcome home is being planned right now. Dennis Geisman, again, is working on it, is putting it on. And uh, when Dennis says he's going to do something, boy, he usually does. It, 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 it happens. It comes to pass. <clears throat> Just a, a quick word on uh, District 48, School District 48. Their program last Saturday was a huge success. And, uh, oh, it, it's, it's so, so great to see, my golly, 175 years that that school district has been uh, organized. And that's from the proverbial one-room schoolhouse on up. Well, we're running out of time because I can't say any funny jokes to uh, uh, about Tom and his bald head or uh, because he would always say when I say bald head, he always says, well, you know, uh, with uh, hair can't grow where there's such activity up in the brain spot. Uh, I'll, I'll just leave that. I, I won't even touch that. So <clears throat> I would leave you with this. A very, uh, have a good St. Patrick's Day. Stay relatively sober. Uh, I'm going to be completely sober. And, uh, <clears throat> but have a good time. Wear the green. And if you happen to be Swedish like me, you can say, well, you know, back in the days uh, of the Vikings, where they came down to rob, loot, and plunder, and, of course, make, uh, maybe taking care of some of the uh, ladies there that even some of the Irish might have some Swedish blood in. But at any rate, have a good time, and we'll see you next week. Bye.